I want you to make very sure that you understand what I'm about to say. You cannot do completing the square if the number in the front is not a 1. You know how in all the previous examples we've done, they've all looked something like this, or maybe like this. See how the number in the front is always a 1? That is a golden rule for completing the square. So we need to divide everything by 2. Okay, so that's going to let us be, end up with x squared minus 4x, because I divided by 2, and then minus 7 over 2. See how I did? I divided everything by 2. Now we can carry on like it is a brand new question. So if you watched my previous completing the square videos, you would know that I like to always put the constant on the other side like that. Then what I do is I open up a bracket and I divide this number by 2. So that's going to be 4 divided by 2 squared. Then on the other side, I've got a 7 over 2 and then I say plus. Then I open up a bracket to the power of 2 and I put whatever this number is inside there. There we go, that's the difficult part. Now it's easy. Now if you want, you can realize that this is positive, it equals 2, right? 4 divided by 2 is 2. So you can write it as x minus 2. You don't have to keep the fraction if you don't want to. And then, oh, on the right hand side, we're just going to go type all of this in on the calculator exactly as you see it. And that's going to give us 15 over 2. If you want to write 7.5, you can. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to square root both sides. So, because I know that a square root will get rid of this. So that's going to look like this. But remember that when you square root the right hand side number, always say plus and minus. Now, this square is going to be cancelled out by the square root, and so we're literally going to be left with x minus 2 on the left, and then plus minus the square root of 15 over 2 on the right hand side. Then to get x alone, I'm going to take the 2 over, so we're going to end up with this, like that. And so our first answer we can get by keeping this a positive, so that's going to be square root 15 over 2 plus 2, or x will be, now I'm going to use the negative, so it's negative like that, and then I'm going to say plus 2. Okay, so now it's a matter of just typing this on your calculator, and that's going to give you 4.74, or negative 0 0.74, and there's our two answers.